She said that I'm a great extra father, so I axed him then and there. And in less than an hour, we were fighting for the door of the dark girl from Romare. Every man has got to find his plan, you ever say no. Bear me no. Every day, there's one of them would say that she'll agree no. You'll see no. But late last night, when the moon was bright, I asked her if she'd share. All me joys and me sorrows and be girls and tomorrow I was married to the girl from Clare. <laughs> 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 <Still am>. oh. <laughs>second tee shot of the morning away and uh, we've yet again awoken to pure sunshine i'm 10 minutes down the road from the european club this is arklow links and from what i've seen from up top where the clubhouse is looking over this golf course we're in for another special day in ireland bad chip but to be honest with you one of the most notable things already three greens in is that the green complexes are uh, well they've got a heck of a lot going on and missing the wrong side or in this case I didn't even miss the uh, I missed the green completely the ability to get up and down or or two put is going to be uh, a bit of a challenge you can see the kind of big swales big movement in uh, in the first three greens well, I think I should discuss the fact that I'm, um, well, I'm suffering from Irish hospitality just a little bit. And what that means is Guinness, because uh, this is my fourth day. Is it fourth day? I'm losing track of time anyway. And uh, we spent a lot of time in that Joyce's bar. And their hospitality of all of the Irish people, you know, is incredible. I don't know how many of you have been over to Ireland to play golf, but it is so noticeably different in terms of the welcome you get. Everyone wants to speak to you, everybody seems happy. I think that might be largely due to the Guinness as well. And uh, they're just welcoming. And um, the only thing is that, like I said, it might impact slightly on the golf. However, I will say this morning, I've started off very chilled and relaxed and that's due to fatigue, but it seems to be working. Right, hole four is called the road hole. Some words of advice etched onto the uh, stone there, which is keep it straight. If only it were that simply. That looks tight to me. And there's a lot of white stakes and a road on the right hand side. I've been swinging quite nonchalantly so far, but uh, I can feel a little bit of tension. Oh, and that's good. Just stay out the bunkers. Coming down now. Oh, don't kick there. 
That's good. We're enjoying life this morning. Guinness is good for the soul, you know. Right, we're just taking a quick two minute sit down because uh, hole seven is just being cut at the moment and it looks a real interesting little par three. Loving Arco links by the way at the moment, six holes in. And uh, I think I'm gonna start a petition for more benches on golf courses. I don't know whether it's because I'm getting older or not, but I love a little sit down and uh, let the whole tempo of life just slow down a little bit. So I'm happy that that green keeper's there and uh, all chill just for a little bit longer. Who's loving Ireland, by the way? Was it just me? So you all know the rules by now. Vote for the photo of the week in the comments section below. So it just plays 120, but that flag is, well, that pin rather is almost illegal. Uh, it's got, it seems to me like about a yard on. Um, so you can't get the yardage wrong. Right, middle of the green, moving towards the flag, hopefully. That's got to go, you know. Got to go. I've just spun it right back into the burn. I don't know whether you uh, should have picked it up on the other camera. It was never quite enough. I should have stepped up on the iron in terms of uh, gone up one. I made sure we got to the back end. It was a bad decision, but uh, exactly where the course is designed. I love it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this sort of mini Irish series that we've been playing and what do you think of Arclo, obviously in today's video. But, um, I know a lot of you want, you want to see places off the beaten track, I assume, and maybe that also means like a bit of a, a lower budget at times. So what we've tried to do over in Ireland is a bit of a mix up. So you played Boris, which is definitely on the sort of low end in terms of green fee. Arclo is a mid range, uh, and you've seen the European club, which I explained during that video, is very much high end in terms of uh, a premium green fee. And then we've got one more to go as well, which is again, back up that premium end. But it's trying to get, well, it's trying to work with golf clubs that want to work with you. And also um, bear in mind that sort of everybody has different opinions on what courses they want to play, what green fees they want to pay. I'll tell you one thing for sure, I'm, uh, I'm hitting decent today. And on the drive here with a bit of a, well, a bit of a hangover, I was a bit concerned. It was a real change up from the 12th onwards. And uh, what you'll have seen is a lot more, it's not parkland, it's inland with a bit of sort of uh, heathy going on. There's a bit of gorse still hangs around. 
it's very much a hybrid of all those things and it's uh, very different like I said from I think it was the first 11 just play like all out links and then we've moved like I said just away from the sea and come inland but it's kind of uh, it's a nice bit of variety between the two loops is incredible value for such a good quality golf course. From what I can see, a maximum green fee of 70 euro in the peak season is hard to beat. And from all my travels has to be one of the best value we have come across so far. Right, hole 17, it's 431 off the white. We're a few yards further forward actually, so I'll fit that camera in. Stroke index one. And I've just played down seven, uh, 16, which is a really interesting hole as well. I didn't uh, record the shots, but it was cool. This thing is so tight. Um, let's hit the record button on here. It's on a fairly small area, so uh, you've got bunkers left and you can see trees down the right. We've gone driver, of which I haven't hit a lot of over the last few days, but I feel like we've got to commit to this one. Oh, it's on the bunker line. Is it in it? Stay short, stay short. It didn't stay short. We should have picked it up on the other camera. It's a really good hole because the drive was half decent. Pulled it a little bit to that left hand side, trying to avoid the trees and uh, there's a bunker waiting for you. Right, we can't do a great deal other than try and just get this one as far down as possible without it in that face. Yeah, I think that's probably about as good as I can do and we're reliant on, well, a decent iron because we've got a fair bit to go, I think. Depends if it's the number. Oh no, it's not, it's short. Wow, that wind is strong. Oh. Right, that hole has well and truly beat me up from start to finish. Double bogey six, and I can see why that is stroke index one. I was chasing my tail right from the get-go. As soon as I went in the bunker, everything was downhill from then on in. I couldn't seem to get the ball back under control. But uh, yeah, a super golf hole. I just wanted to perhaps mention here as well that um, the reason I found out about Arclo Golf Links was through another YouTuber, an Irish lad called Jamie. His um, channel is called Diary of a High Handicap Golfer, and he creates some really good content uh, and a lot of it filmed on here as well, another course in Ireland. So make sure you go and check Jamie's channel out. I'll stick a link in the description below and make sure I've got that right. But I think it's Diary of a High Handicap Golfer. Come, come. Oh my word, we finished with one. That's probably the best stroke of the day. Do you know what, 17 and 18 are real tough closing holes and making our way up through there was uh, no easy stretch either. So yeah, tough old finish. But where I'm going is up there. I started there with an amazing view. That's the clubhouse and it's time for something to eat. I'm definitely wilting. Mm -hmm. 